governor, working on centrifugal force, controls the speed and helps to maintain an even drive. And suddenly... We had a bit of a feeling St. Patrick would get his mark on this Dublin Viking longship. Vincent Buchanan turned out to be a master carver of shamrocks. 32 tailor-made oars, perfectly balanced on the loom side, the end nearest the hand. The Vikings used to put covers on the oar ports so that they could close them in stormy seas. Didn't they think of everything? It's nice to see the old draw knife in use. Its framework is of hazel rods and it has a gunnel of woven sally twigs. The shallow draft and manoeuvrability of this curragh enabled it to get right in under the weir and avoid the undertow. This sea curragh, which is found only in Donegal in the northwest of Ireland, The lid of the eel trap is of willow, although occasionally, in Yarmouth, England, they're made of wood. When in use, the trap will have a rope tied round its wasted top, secure to a float or the back. It will be baited with old fish remains or offal, and set so that the opening always faces downstream. Fergus Parr, who is apprentice to the Shanahans, hopes to be a vocational teacher and will pass on the skills which he has learned. You must have made about a yeast basket time in your day. Ah, uh, thousands of by beyond, beyond count. His house needs 400 bundles of straw. They prefer the oaten straw here in South Wexford, but they used to thatch outhouses and stables with bent grass from the sand hills, or bennet as it's called locally. It was pulled by hand, and the roots were beaten in first. Paddy! Your cup of tea's here. Lovely. Beautiful. That looks great, Paddy. Not too bad. Josephine Matthews. You were up a tie before. Huh? Good man. Good boy yourself. Joe shaves off the Grown central island and along the banks of the shore are Salex viminalis, whereas the imported willows are probably Salex triandra. Give him the rod. It will be the right man. You have the man the nigger. Oh, he's after coming three times already. He'll carry this one again. It was in take this one like the last one. I could tell you know, exactly nearly the, when they're going to swarm, if the weather is fine, for I hear the, I hear the queen boozy inside the hive the night before. She... The box in which the pattern is placed only supplies a temporary bed, as we'll see. Parting sand sprinkled on enabled the two halves of the box to be separated at a later stage. This half of the box, which has been placed over the pattern, will become the bottom of the mould. Usually of the day they cast, uh, I plaster the inside of the furnace where it all burns. It usually burns maybe a couple of inches into the, the bricks of the furnace. So you have to plaster it every time. This lets the molten metal flow out of the furnace onto the ground to discover whether it's hot enough to pour. It's recycled back into the furnace. The process which began at Saints Island 
ends for the weavers with delivery to the handcraft shop. The products show how the adaptable nature of the rushes places few restrictions on the creative talents of the imaginative rush worker. Fragments or spoil, the local name is scablings, are swept away. Turned three or four times and sprinkled with water. Stones and other foreign bodies must be removed. The idea is to create a plastic medium of even consistency. As the wheel spins, it tends to throw the clay outwards through centrifugal force, hence the term to throw a pot. For the skilled, handmade craft. And in order to survive in this commercial age, Carly's have taken on... The first trial piece out of the working mould with additional piercing by Fergus. The production line, you might say, for the pottery begins here in the mould making shop, where the working moulds for casting the final pieces are made. But to understand this sequence better, we must go back to the master mould, which has come from Fergus Cleary. Perhaps it is not fully realised what a diverse range of wear Balik has produced over the years, from the finest porcelain to, to, to show up any mist areas. The excess has to be thoroughly shaken or blown off. Too much glaze could cause an unwanted greenish tinge to be present. In the past, when animals were roasted, certain portions were reserved for specific people according to rank. The tradition of giving the head of a slaughtered beast to the blacksmith is an ancient survival. The rushes are turned regularly and a blue mould develops on them. This mould gradually turns black and at the end of six to eight weeks, the rushes are ready for weaving. I started serving my time to the cooperage business. As the saying goes, I became, I started tub thumping, and in doing so, I learned everything about timber nearly. Ned will create many beautiful things. One of the most difficult jobs for a cooper is a dash churn. The churn is made up of two different parts, namely the body and then the crib. Ned's foot operates a bar which controls the clamp that holds the stave. With one end on the ground and the other raised up on two legs, because here you don't run the plane over the timber, you run the timber over the plane. Became a bit afraid, and he, ran, he uh, left it to himself. And I had to walk the whole evening and all the night, and it was most satisfactory after. It was a better one than the next one I made, but uh, I, we, I remember because it takes a man five to seven years to learn the skills that go to the making of traditional or classical furniture. The Robinsons are craftsmen who don't waste much time on idle talk. They go at their work with a quiet determination that still does not conceal their respect and love for the raw material they use. This working in wood calls for patience and practice, and there's a lot more than that to it when it comes to these high levels of craftsmanship. For the expert knows that no two trees even if the same species are ever identical, that the life story of a tree, happiness and unhappiness. The children are interested, and the Robinson brothers want them to be interested, even if the skills of marquetry, veneering and inlay have been by long tradition carefully kept secret. Old, 
an improved version of the market we don't. A shell design. A graceful Grecian urn. Hello, John Pitt. Hello, Joe. How are How you? Are you? Oh, very good, no? Thanks. Lovely day, isn't it? Oh, it is. Lovely. Yeah. Is I'm good? looking for another piece of spin Oh, yes. Do you have a piece? Oh, yes, I have a... Another piece that I cut there at Christmas, like in Yibbity, and in fact, I have a tree growing here. Have Tom you? Joe, up here in the field. Well, here's the piece I've got for you now, Tom Joe. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you can have it. Maybe you'll be fit to make some use of it. Oh, sure. <laughs>